police officers will get new powers to stop suspected spies entering Britain in the wake of the Skripal poisoning. Police and immigration authorities will be handed new powers to stop suspected spies entering Britain in the wake of the Salisbury attack. Russian former spy Sergei Skripal, 66, and his daughter Yulia, 33, were left fighting for their lives after being poisoned with the nerve agent Novikok in an attack blamed on the Kremlin. Ministers today unveiled the new crackdown and said that it will bolster Britain's defenses against hostile state activity. Officers will get anti-terror-style powers to stop individuals who may pose a threat as they arrive in the country. Details of the regime emerged as ministers unveiled a wide-ranging new counter-terrorism and border security bill. Home Secretary Sajid Javid said, We judge that it was highly likely that the Russian state carried out the appalling attack in Salisbury which demonstrates why the police need robust powers to investigate, identify and challenge those acting against our interests. February 2014 Russian forces seized control of Crimea from Ukraine, sparking worldwide condemnation. But Vladimir Putin initially denied sending in troops to the area insisting the little green men who appeared in Russian uniforms were actually local defense forces. Russian forces also entered and stoked war in eastern Ukraine. 2016, Russian hackers target the U.S. elections, spreading fake news to meddle in the outcome and hacking Hillary Clinton's campaign team's emails. Special counsel Robert Mueller is investigating the claims and so far 19 Russians have been hit with sanctions for cyber attacks. April to May 2017 French presidential candidate Emmanuel Macron says his campaign has been targeted by groups in Russia and Ukraine. The leading centrist was running against far-right candidate Marine Le Pen, who was calling for closer ties with Moscow. March 2018 former Russian spy Sergei Skribal and his daughter Yulia are poisoned on the streets of Salisbury. The pair are slipped Novikok a deadly nerve agent manufactured in Russia's lab rooms at the height of the Cold War. Theresa May says Russia is behind the attack, but the Kremlin launched a massive disinformation campaign questioning whether the UK's security services can be trusted and suggesting Britain carried out the poisoning itself. This is a necessary and proportionate response to the threat and will, of course, be subject to strict safeguards and robust oversight to assure its proper use. Currently police and immigration officers can question and detain people entering and leaving the country through seaports, airports and international rail stations. But they can only use the powers if they suspect the person is involved in terrorism. Under the new powers, officers will be able to stop, question, search and detain an individual to determine whether he or she is, or has been, engaged in hostile activity. A hostile act is defined as one that threatens national security, threatens the economic well-being of the UK, or is an act of serious crime and is linked to a foreign state. Plans for the measure were first announced by Theresa May in the aftermath of the attempted assassination of former double agent Mr. Skripal. The Russian spent many weeks fighting for his life in hospital after the attack on the streets of Salisbury, but has now been released. He and his daughter Yulia are both recovering at a secret location somewhere in Britain amid fears they could be targeted again. The Home Office today warned the UK faces a sustained threat from hostile state actors seeking to undermine our national security in a wide variety of ways, including espionage and, as the attack in Salisbury has made clear, violence against individuals. Schedule 7 of the Terrorism Act 2000 allows officers to examine a person at a port area when they are entering or leaving the country. Last year 16,349 people were examined under the provision in Britain. A government impact assessment on the proposed hostile activity power says it is expected annual use will be very low and far below the level of Schedule 7 activity. It is further expected that the rate of non-compliance will be low. The document adds, Oversight of the power will be assigned to the Investigatory Powers Commissioner, and the bill includes provisions for safeguards to protect legally privileged and journalistic material. Scotland Yard has said that police are still following a number of lines of inquiry as part of a huge investigation to establish who carried out the poisoning.